Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Avalab Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install new color schemes and how to search and find them within Adam's interface. That way, we can change the default color scheme to anything that we would like. So let's get going on that right now. So now we get to cover one of everybody's favorite topics, which is modifying your color scheme. Now modifying your color scheme in something like Adam out of the box is way easier than doing it in Sublime text out of the box. Now Sublime you can certainly get packages to help you find and change your color scheme easily. However, it's built in to Adam pretty nicely. If we head to our preferences, I'm going to throw this open in the main tab here. I'm going to push these over to the side and so we're only looking at our settings here. Now if we head to themes, you'll notice that we have UI theme and syntax theme. We're going to be worried about syntax theme only, and again, I'm actually just going to make these a little bit bigger here, and we can have an HTML. We can throw this HTML over here as well, just so we can sort of see what these look like. Now in the settings here, we're using one dark, which is the color scheme that has been chosen for us when we just launched this application. Now we could always use something like Solarize Dark and you'll notice it instantly changes everything. And even though this is the syntax theme, it also changes the coloring inside of your settings here a little bit. And here we have something like Solarize Dark. We can use Solarize Light. And you should be familiar with both of these. And we have things like Tomorrow Dark. These are all color schemes that you'll find on a lot of text editors. We also have Atom Dark, and this is the Atom's own dark theme. You can see it looking here, nothing too crazy, but let's actually try to add and install a new color scheme. If we head over to install, you can click this where it says themes, and we can just say color scheme in here. So as you can see here, we have several different color schemes and we have them labeled as either by theme or syntax. And many of these packages actually include a theme as well. However, we're really just looking for color schemes. So let's go ahead and click install on something like this iceberg syntax. And we can look for another one. Let's actually look for a material design type one. You'll notice that when you click install, that's all you have to do. Now we can uninstall it whenever we'd like, but these install buttons just are really pretty seamless. So we can say material. And that's one of the really just great things about this is just how nice having something like that in here is where you can just click install, try out a few different ones. And if you don't like them, you can uninstall it really super easily. Okay, so I've added a few. Let's head back to themes here. Let's head over to syntax themes and we now instantly without having to do anything, we didn't have to restart the application. We have access to iceberg, which should be sort of bluish. It looks like it's like a dark purple. And if you'll notice the background changed, but some of the text stuff didn't change. If we uh, reopen the settings.json, you'll notice it's all blue now. In fact, if we click out of this index.html and reopen that, you'll see it's changed quite a bit. So for the actual syntax to take effect, for instance, this purple intermediate.js, it's not really doing anything. If we reopen it, you can see the blue color scheme is now totally in effect. And likewise, if we change this material, so likewise, if you change themes like to this material, there's some things right here where we have our index.html is clearly not the right theme. We charge back into it. Settings.json, clearly not the right theme. We're back into it. It's a little bit more materially now. So you may have to close the current tab to see the new color scheme fully in effect, as opposed to just a partial change. So finding new color schemes couldn't be any easier. You just had to install, click on themes, look for whatever type of color scheme you're looking for. I know a lot of people like to use, I think it's Batman. Batman. Uh, it's a pretty sweet theme. I like Wild Cherry. Those are some nice color schemes there. But as you can see, we can install Batman. We can install Wild Cherry, possibly. Okay, we can install both of those. Head back to our themes. This is just so nice and easy, right? We change to Batman. What's funny this time is that the index.html did change, and we didn't have to reopen the tab to get it to uh, take effect here. So I'm not necessarily sure if that's a particular color scheme issue or if that's an issue with Atom itself. 
However, I noticed I have had that same issue with Sublime Text before as well. And let's actually throw on Wild Cherry just to see one more. And this time you'll notice again, yeah, we had the color change without having to actually do anything. Now this is funny, because we're using this color scheme without using the theme, there's some weird issues going on. So we might need to modify this one a little bit, but the color scheme itself looks really nice. Cool, so this is how you add new color schemes and how you change your color scheme using Atom. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. You can leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. If you'd like to purchase this series before they're all released on YouTube, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com and you can find this series available for early access, completely available before they're released on YouTube. As always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.